Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Kay Nganyama, popularly known as Kayam Stalin. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare and install this beautiful hair from Nadula Hair. This video was sponsored by Nadula Hair, so a big shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring this video. They are currently having an up to 55% off sale on all their wigs so you better check them now without further ado it is about time you start laying these wigs honey so please continue watching if you do like this video please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i hope you enjoy the video okay so just a little information about this hair it's a 13 by 4 24 inch brazilian wig from nadula hair this is hands down the best wig i've ever owned it's so soft it's got very minimal shedding and it's just so 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 easy to work with i'm gonna go in with some water and conditioner first just to make sure that any frizz or flyaways are tamed and it's easy for me then to pin this wig down onto the canvas head which makes everything so so much easier for me i'm gonna make sure that no hair is stuck in between the pins of the canvas head because i don't want any hair breaking off of the lace or anything like that and i want you know to have a clear clear canvas and see exactly what i'm doing in case you're wondering i got this canvas head and tripod stand from hair castle essentials i'll put it in the description box i'm gonna go in with some heat protectant this is like so so important because the tools i'm gonna be using on, on this wig are so so hot hot comb hair dryer and i find that when using heat protectant it, it's able to keep the style of the wig for much longer anyway i'm gonna go in with my brush and a hair dryer if you don't have a hot comb this is always uh, a good method it acts like a hot comb in inverted commas and i'm just gonna make sure that the front of the hair is laid flat 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 i don't want any flyaways i don't want any bumps humps lumps nothing of that sort A lot of people know this already but aren't really willing to be patient and put in the time with any process whether it's makeup or hair you need to be really really patient this can take up to two hours and sometimes i can sit for two hours doing this process and it's okay if you want your hair laid flat you're gonna put in the work i'm gonna go in with some mousse just to make sure that this hair stays flat sleek and the hair stays push back so that i can proceed and style the rest of this wig this is a tresemme mousse but i highly recommend the olive oil mousse from clicks as well you can go ahead and check that out if you can't access this mousse another thing that people don't usually know or are aware of is that mousse is meant to give your hair volume so you will apply mousse but if you don't go over it with some a hair dryer or like anything hot like a hot comb it will frizz up it won't frizz up but it you know it has potential to make your wig look higher so always make sure that you go in with hair dryer just to make sure that it lays flat and it captures that style for the rest of the day or for however long you're wearing your wig okay cool once the front is done which is the most important part i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna straighten this wig notice that i am using a comb to do this while i'm straightening the wig the straightener that i'm using is the ghd platinum gold straightener you can use any other straightener as long as you have maybe a good serum and heat protectant in order to avoid your hair frizzing up and to protect your hair. I'm then going to go in with some just water and conditioner just to tame away any frizz, hydrate any of the hair and um, split ends that may be dry causing the hair to frizz up. My wig is done. It is prepared. I'm going to go in and style it as de desired. Today I'm going to open up a middle part because that's just how I'm feeling. However, with this wig the sides are quite short so it's quite tricky to open up a side part 
squatting so you may want to keep that into consideration if you're a person that likes the side parts maybe this isn't the specific wig for you but have a browse on their website and i'm sure you'll find a wig that's perfect for you i'm gonna go in with my hot comb um, this hot comb goes up to 220 degrees it is also from hair castle essentials on instagram just to flatten out the parts um lay down that hair avoid any bumpy i hate i hate i wig i want my hair flat in the center and honestly the center is what makes the wig look so so good so make sure that it's nice and flat and it's perfect when it lands on your head Okay, that's just me being a perfectionist, but it's probably another reason why these wigs always look so snatched. Um, so unleash the perfectionist in you. It does not work if you are not some level of perfectionist. This wig is ready to lay and I'm going to pop it on my head real quick. Okay, cool. If you're new here on my channel, that is me. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to go in with a spray bottle, which I've put in some rubbing alcohol into and a cotton pad just to remove any moisturizer or oil or anything that may prevent my wig from laying flat onto my skin. I'm just going to rub that off using a cotton pad. Then I'm going to go and moisturize my lips because my lips is so, so ashy. I'm using the 8 hour cream for this, my ultimate favorite. Today I will be using the Ghost Bond Glue. I usually use the Got To Be Glue, but I find that the Ghost Bond Glue really, really keeps the wig laid flat for longer. So if you are looking for something a bit more stronger than the Got To Be, I strongly recommend the Ghost Bond Glue and it is from Take A Lot. Notice that I'm not putting this glue on my head. It is extremely hard to get off your, your hair or your skin. So always just make sure that it's slightly in front of your actual hairline. Because this wig is plucked, you know, really finely in front, it allows me that room to be able to put it, you know, closer to my brows than I normally would. And it doesn't make me look crazy. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Also notice that I am doing half of my head first. I'm going to do the next half afterwards. If you're someone that gets overwhelmed by things very easily, then I suggest you do it in threes. So do the first, third, and then the second one, and then the last one. Um, I'm like a pro at this now, so I can do it in halves. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, so use the back of a comb to apply the glue and also to spread the glue really really thinly and sort of like distribute it across your forehead if the glue is too thick and it's not spread it has potential to show under your lace which you don't want i'm gonna go in with my finger and just press this down i'm gonna repeat this process up until the wig is just completely stuck on my head So on this wig today, I'm not going to be doing any baby hairs, but I will be doing a side burn sort of situation on the side of the wig. This is also just to ensure that the sides don't lift. So by going ahead and, you know, adding some gel to the side of this hair, it also really ensures that the sides stay really, really stuck on. I didn't know this until 
much later. It looks cute, but it also really prevents your hair from flapping. I'm going to define the parts in the middle. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Make sure that you have no strands of hair. Then go in with some mousse just to, you know, lay this wig, add more shine. I'm going to wrap it up while I do my makeup. And yeah, if you do like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. I really hope you learned a thing or two from this video. Check out my makeup tutorials because child my makeup be snatched all the time. Give this video a huge thumbs up and leave me some love in the comments. I'll see you in my next video and thank you so so much for watching. Mm -hmm.